guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm very excited to bring you a Christmas gift guide. I actually wanted to do one of these last year, but I didn't get around to it. So this year I'm finally doing one. I'm gonna be featuring things from different budgets and also different categories. So it's not just fashion or one thing or the other. It's gonna be a variety of things so that you have more options to choose from. As I'm filming this, we're currently around a week away from Christmas. So this is definitely a little bit last minute, but hopefully I can still help you pick out some pieces. Now in this video, I will be featuring some things in person. So some of these things I actually own myself, hence why I'm recommending them. Some of these things are on my own Christmas wish list or birthday wish list because my birthday is in January. So in that case, I'll just put up pictures of those on the screen so that you guys can see which ones I'm talking about. Over on my Instagram and TikTok, I am also sharing some sneak peeks of some gifts that have been coming through from, for example, brands, or if I'm picking up gifts for other people or myself, I'm sharing some of those over on there. So I'll leave those two linked in the description box of this video. But with that being said, let's just jump straight into the video. Starting off with the first gift idea, we have some jewelry and this is actually from PD Paola and they're actually very kindly sponsoring this portion of the video. So I'm actually wearing some pieces, which I'll show you first. This first one that I'm wearing is a charm necklace and you can basically add on charms. This is actually a malachite stone charm. I just thought it was perfect with the new year coming around, getting pieces that have some form of meaning or significance. They do actually have other charms that you can pick up. I know they had one which had a plane on it and I thought that was so cool because I love planes. They also had other stones, numbers, I think they had some letters. So you can definitely have fun with it and it's really nice because with something like this, you can really personalize it because you can get a charm that matches that person's interest. Other thing that I'm wearing is this ring. It's called the sissy ring and I'll leave close-ups on the screen so that you can see them better because from this distance you won't really be able to see it. I just love the simplicity of this. I'm actually wearing it on my index finger which is new for me but I love it and I love how it looks on my index finger. I just think it just matches everything really well. And then the other one that I got actually is these like very minimal chic boxes. It's one of those things that's like you can't really go wrong, like it's not extravagant, so timeless that everyone's gonna love it. It's in one of these boxes which comes with a pouch as well and this one I will leave the name on the screen. It's this ovular or oval shaped pendant and it's got these diamantes. It looks so so nice. I absolutely love it and it actually matches the ring really well. And I feel like this one is so perfect for the festive season. Also in the box that it came with, it actually came with this bag which I thought was perfect because it just makes everything easier. Usually I find myself going on Amazon and then ordering like all the different things to pack everything in the boxes and the everything if it doesn't already come with something so this is perfect because you literally don't need to wrap it I mean yes the person will know it's PD Paola but I actually think it's still a nice surprise because they honestly have so many pieces on their website that you just won't know what's in this bag the next thing also is this travel pouch which came with the order it's in this like tweedy material and this like gun metal but this is like a travel pouch with a little compact mirror you can put onto your keyring I actually do have a discount code which I'll put on the screen and also in the description box of the video how to use it and all those details links and everything in the description box but the code is Fabiana15 and it will give you 15% off anything that's not already discounted on their website. They do also have fine jewellery and I feel like I would say 95% of my jewellery collection is fine jewellery. I would definitely say to take advantage of that. You can also use it for their other jewellery pieces. I will leave everything in the description box of this video alongside, again, as I said, the code. And I'm extremely grateful that they were able to sponsor this portion of the video. Moving on to the next gift. So I'm going to split this up into different categories based on the budget and then you can skip to the chapters if you're wanting a particular budget or you can just watch the entire thing. So the first budget we're gonna start with is anything under or up to 250 pounds. The first thing that I've got here is some cashmere. If you guys know me, you know I absolutely love my cashmere and I don't stop talking about it. This gray turtleneck cos cashmere jumper or sweater, it's just perfect. I would say in the actual winter when it gets really cold, I actually typically like to go for things that are mixed in with wool. With gifts, you wanna maybe spend a little bit more. Get people something that they maybe wouldn't buy for themselves on a day-to-day -day basis. So the ones I have here, as I said, this is from Cos. This is another cashmere piece from Cos I recently got. It's in the same color, but it's in these trousers, these wide leg cashmere trousers. And I love these. I actually wear them as my pajamas because recently it's just been super, super cold here in London. It's actually been snowing. Now, one thing I will say about these cashmere trousers, and to be honest, any piece of cashmere, is it's got bobbles on it. And I'm gonna mention something in the next gift idea, which is a super affordable gift. I'll mention it next, and it's gonna help with these bobbles. But no, I absolutely love it. Everyone sees cashmere as luxurious. So gifting someone 
cashmere it's not just anything they last for a very long time in their closet so every time they wear it they will think of you the next gift idea is a Philips D bobbler I will put a picture up on the screen because I did order this two days ago from Amazon I actually got it because I have so many bobbles on a lot of my cashmere pieces because I've been wearing them so much recently I actually saw this on someone's Instagram stories they did like a before and after and I was so shocked I will update you guys maybe on Instagram stories once I've actually got the actual thing I'll put like a before and after from the reviews that I read people were basically just saying don't go too hard with it you kind of go in once it might not be as strong as you know you may think it's not like a vacuum cleaner it's meant to be quite you know moderate and then you go in a second time if you need to and it's more so like a building up to it it's better for it to be buildable than to be too much and then it's like you can't go back next up as gift idea is fragrances so here we've got fragrances for the body and then fragrances for the home the perfume that I picked up is the Thomas Cosmala number four apres or apres l'amour and it's a perfume that i picked up from harrods the other day the best way to explain this perfume is baccarat rouge but a lot less sweet a lot more musky so it's more of like a masculine take the top notes are bitter orange and lemon zest and then the middle notes are aromatic fresh spicy and the base notes are dry wood, amber and musk. This one was from Harrods. I got it for 140 pounds, so it still goes into this budget category, but I love this. Another perfume, obviously, that I absolutely love is Baccarat Rouge 540. I actually do like the scent, but I just haven't picked up another bottle of it. Another one that I really love at the moment is Al d'Afrique from Byredo. The other day I went to an event and they had the hand wash and body lotion, and it smelled amazing. The next thing, as I mentioned, as another fragrance is a candle. This is the one I'm going to be recommending. I know that there's a lot from like Diptyque. To be honest, I haven't smelled all of them to know which one is my favorite. This one is actually from Beauty Pie, Bergamot and Wild Basil. It smells like the Jo Malone Lime Basil and Mandarin. I literally have used this. I just put it back in the box. The whole concept behind Beauty Pie is basically that they take the up marketing of a product. So if you sign up to their membership, you basically get their things for a much, much discounted price. The next gift is coffee table books. Now, this is actually one that I have here in the studio, but the ones that I personally love is the Asseline ones. Now, I know basically everyone has this. I particularly like the St. Maritz Chic. I really love that one. Another one that I love and I will recommend is the Architectural Digest one. Both of those are on my Christmas wish list or wish list as a whole. This next gift is for someone who's really into that chic, elegant style. It is from Kurt Geiger and I actually got it a few days ago when I was going to an event. I popped in Selfridges and I saw these and they straight away reminded me of a pair of Jimmy Choo. These are called the Duke Black Pattern Occasion. These are incredible. These were £179. So if you're looking for a dupe for the Jimmy Choo heels, now I know a lot of people might say just get the Jimmy Choo ones, you know, it's Christmas, but I feel like if that's not in your budget, but you still want something a little bit similar, this is so perfect because they are so comfortable. I actually have worn them to an event. I was there for quite a few hours and I walked in these. These were perfect. They are classified as a mule. So the heel height on these are really perfect. The next thing is a pair of Ugg slippers. Now the ones I'm specifically loving is the Scoufette 2 in chestnut. I absolutely love these. It kind of goes back to the gifting someone cashmere. It's something that is genuinely so practical. I think they retail for £85, but I saw some for around £60-ish on certain sales. So I'll leave those linked in the description box. Another pair of shoes I would recommend. These might look a little bit beaten up on the camera, but these are my Axel Arigato Marathon Runners. You may remember seeing these in my What I Got For Christmas for last year, but these are in the orange, white, and black. I absolutely love them. I still love them. I said in that video I loved them. I still do. The only thing is they're a little bit beaten up because these were my daily shoes. When I got these Axel Arigatos, I believe I got them for either 210 or 230 pounds. And when I checked yesterday, they said 270 pounds. So there's definitely been a price increase, but nonetheless, I still recommend these. Now moving on to the next budget, we have under and up to 600 pounds. The GHD Platinum Plus Professional Smart Styler Gift Set. This was actually sent over by GHD as a gift so I'm including it here. It comes with their Platinum Plus hair straightener and then it comes with this travel pouch and inside you get one of the thing you put on the styler and then you also get a paddle brush which is my new favorite thing. I was using a comb until now and this is now my favorite thing. On the topic of hair stylers, another one that I absolutely love and think should definitely be in this video is the Dyson Hair Wrap and also the Hair Dryer. Next up, another perfect gift is a designer belt. You do have to be a little bit careful with. You need to know if the person is someone who likes more discreet designs or louder designs. I personally prefer more discreet. Now I know the Celine Triumph belt to some people is still quite loud, 
but I really like it. Another one that I've been loving is the Hermes Kelly belt, but this is the Celine Triumph belt. I'll put up a close up on the screen. I actually have a video on my channel unboxing this. I would say if you know someone who's actually really into fashion, this is probably the best one to get for them because this is literally the holy grail. Speaking of Hermes, the next gift is from Hermes. This is a pair of Hermes Aran sandals. You might have seen I recently picked these up. Now is actually the perfect time to get this, especially whether you want to gift it to yourself. I mean, all these things you can give to other people, but you could definitely gift to yourself. I gifted these to myself. This is a pair of Hermes Arans in the gold. I got these in November. No one's really wearing sandals in December, so I picked them up. The only thing I would say is it's probably better to gift them to yourself because you can go in store and find out which size is for you. These retail for £510 as I'm filming this and they are the perfect gift. Lastly, in this budget, we have a bag. This is actually a recent new bag in my collection. It's from APC. If you know someone who's kind of into Celine or into those styles, you may want to gift this to them or you may want to gift it to yourself. This, in my opinion, is the perfect dupe for the Celine box bag. This is the APC Small Grace bag and I absolutely love this. I believe this is in the round 600 pound range, but I have seen them selling on some places for 500 and a bit. I know I had someone ask me if this is good quality. This is impeccable quality. This would be the perfect Christmas gift. The last category in this video is the 1,000 to 1,000 pounds plus. The first perfect gift is a Ramoa cabin bag. They do actually have two sizes for their cabin bag. They have the cabin and then the cabin S. And depending on which one you get, you either pay a thousand or one thousand and fifty pounds. The one that I love personally is the classic, as opposed to I think there's the original and then the classic. The classic is the one with a more heritage style to it. The next thing in this price range is something from Laura Piana. I actually have been loving quite a few of their pieces that I've been looking at. One of the things in this price range is their Parksville turtleneck. Now this is a baby cashmere turtleneck and it is incredible. I absolutely love it. This turtleneck does retail for £1,535. It is pretty in line with other Laura Piana pieces. Cashmere is always an incredible piece to gift. And again, it doesn't have to be from Laura Piana. I did showcase some other alternatives. The next thing is also from Laura Piana, and I feel like it's something that everyone talks about, but it's definitely a great introduction into the brand. And it's the open walks, all their summer charm walks. Everyone talks about the Laura Piana loafers being the most comfortable shoes you will ever try. And I think that's the reputation it holds. It's one of those things that's like, sometimes you just want comfort and you really don't care how something looks. It's not not aesthetic, but it's just not your typical aesthetically pleasing shoe. The open walks are £805 and then the summer charm walks are actually £715. So they can both be sort of like your entryway into Laura Piana. And just like that, we've come to the end of this Christmas gift guide video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. And let me know in the comment section down below any other pieces that you're looking at maybe that are on your Christmas wish list. But with that being said, I hope to see you guys very, very soon in my next video.